Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Groisman, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use heart rate variability to guide long COVID recovery. Let's talk about what heart rate variability is. It is the timing between each beat of the heart. Um, traditionally, it's the R wave. Um, you can measure the time that occurs between one R wave and another, and that is typically in milliseconds. That's one thousandth of a second. So when we check our heart rate, in essence, uh, there's actually normal variability by a few numbers. Um, we're not measuring heart rate when we're measuring heart rate variability. What we're looking for is this little difference, beat to beat difference in timing. How does um, heart rate variability correlate? Um, so things like lack of sleep, um, exercise, um, having anxiety, all can impact your HRV number. Uh, several medications can also impact your HRV, num HRV number. For instance, beta blockers, even though they will slow down your heart rate, will not affect your HRV. Um, why we use HRV is to correlate it with the autonomic nervous system tone. High numbers typically correlate with parasympathetic uh, tone being higher. Uh, that includes the vagus nerve. And lower numbers suggest sympathetic tone being higher. What we're looking at is not one particular number. What we're looking at is a trend. The, the idea with heart rate um, variability is to uh, get, get measurements over a long period of time, over a week, over two weeks. Um, the more you can test for it, the better. It's not a one, one measurement and you're done. It really is not all that helpful. Um, it's useful not to get upset or, or angry about uh, getting one number that's in the single digits or in the low teens. Uh, we're looking at the overall trend and your range. Where do you normally run? Uh, it's also useful to compare it now to what, do you, what are you doing and what's your HRV while you're doing it. Uh, that will help you, guide, help you and guide you in deciding uh, what works and what doesn't. So what is um, a normal range? This is a great uh, graph from a WHOOP website. Uh, this looks at what the normal highs and lows are for HRV. As you notice, uh, as you start to uh, increase in age, the, the range drops. So where in, the, in your 20s, uh, the your numbers are expected to be in the uh, high 90s, 200s, um, and the lows in the 60s. Uh, as you get into the 50s and 60s range, um, it starts to drop into the 50s. What we're looking for, though, is the overall pattern. This is just a guide. It doesn't mean that every single uh, time you get out of range, something is abnormal. How do you monitor for this? Well, traditionally, it's a 24-hour halter monitor that you would wear that a cardiologist would prescribe for you, and these... These, this data can be um, gleamed from, from that uh, halter monitor measuring your EKG for the entire 24 hours of a day. That's great for one day, but what I'm looking for is something where you can wear all the time and use all the time. Uh, so the easiest would be something like an iWatch uh, with a phone app or Fitbit has these. And there's also several um, single uh, or... or, or um, not connected to anything, basically machines that you can purchase that will do this for you as well. Um, I hope that this helps um, explain a little bit more what heart rate variability is uh, and how to use it to guide uh, long COVID recovery in general and monitoring your parasympathetic and sympathetic tone um, over the course of your recovery. Um, thank you so much. Bye-bye.